Welcome to the News Now Update at Noon on the award-winning Cool and Current WJSU. Recognized by the Associated Press as one of the top newscasts in Mississippi. It's Wednesday, August 24, 2011. I am student news anchor Courtney Christopher Page. Um, the citizens of, of Mississippi decided who they wanted to represent them on the Democratic side. No, I'll probably have to sleep on this for a little while. Uh, you know, sure. I don't like losing, but, you know, I lost. So what else can you say? It's time for our party to be unified. We have to look forward. Um, we've now got a nominee. We talk politics this afternoon on the News Now Update at noon, and we will also take a look at weather. That's coming up a little later. But first at this hour, today's top story. Hattiesburg mayor has become the first black candidate in modern time to win a majority party nod for Mississippi governor. Johnny Dupree on Tuesday defeated Clarksdale attorney and developer Bill Luckett in a Democratic primary runoff. Dupree says he's proud that people believe in his message. The 57-year-old face Republican Lieutenant Governor Phil Bryant in November. Um, the citizens of, of Mississippi decided who they wanted to represent them on the Democratic side and I'm just I, I'm elated that they decided on on this candidate so um, I feel real good. No I'll probably have to sleep on this one a little while uh, you know sure. I don't like losing but you know I lost so what else can you say we did the best we could and uh, we didn't come out on top. With a population that's 37% black, Mississippi has more black elected officials than any state in the nation. But it has not had a black statewide official since Reconstruction. Two other high-profile black politicians ran for Mississippi governor as independents in the 1970s. That was Charles Evers, brother of slain civil rights leader Megar Evers, ran in 1971. State Senator Henry Kirksey ran in 1975. Candidate Bill Luckett says he will support Dupree in his election bid for governor of the state of Mississippi. No, I'll probably have to sleep on this one a little while. Uh, you know, sure. I don't like losing, but, you know, I lost. So what else can you say? We did the best we could, and uh, we didn't come out on top. Lynn Fitch has defeated Lee Yancey in the Republican primary runoff for Mississippi Treasurer. Fitch will face Ocean Spring Mayor Connie Moran, who was unopposed for the Democratic nomination. A faction of the Reform Party also wants to put a candidate on the ballot in the November general election. It's time for our party to be unified. We have to look forward. Um, we've now got a nominee, and that's, I am excited and honored to be that individual. But you know, tomorrow we start. We've got a general election. Fitch, who is 49 years old and from the city of Madison, and Yancey, 43, of the city of Brandon, emerged from a three-person primary on August 2nd. Fitch is on leave as state personnel board director during the campaign. Yancey is a one-term senator. There is no incumbent in the treasurer's race this year because Republican Tate Reeve, who's held the job for two terms, is running for lieutenant governor. Madison lawyer Wim Longwitz has defeated former Hines County Supervisor Charles Barber in Tuesday's Republican runoff in State Senate District 25. Barber and Longwitz got into the runoff after the August 2nd primary for the seat, being relinquished by Walter Michael, a three-term Republican from Jackson. The district embraces parts of Madison County along with Northeast Jackson and Hines County where Barber, Governor Haley Barber's, Barber's nephew resides. Longwitz which faces Democratic Cecilia Sampoi in the November 8th general election. More changes in the county of Madison with Randall Randy Tucker defeating candidate Jimmy Houston. Houston, a long-term law official, did not have enough votes to win the Madison County badge for sheriff. And that's your noonday wrap-up for politics in Mississippi. Other news that's going on right now, Jackson police are investigating the city's latest homicide in West Jackson, according to Officer Calendula Green of the Jackson Police Department. It's news in the Metro. The unidentified black male was riding his bicycle when he was shot three times in the upper portion of his left side. It all happened shortly after 9 p.m. Tuesday night. The fatality happened at the intersection of Evergreen and Peabody Street near University Boulevard. We will bring you more details on his identity and the motive as soon as details come into the News Now Update newsroom. And finally this afternoon, President Barack Obama says his low approval rating is a reflection of public unhappiness with Congress. 
Obama tells CBS in an interview broadcast Sunday that he's impacted, just like Congress, when people are not happy with Washington. He says he understands that his argument that the country would have been worse off if he had not taken certain actions don't resonate with the millions of unemployed people. The president who's vacationing on Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, says he expects to be judged in November 2012 on whether things have improved. Recent public opinion polls have shown Obama's job approval rating at near 40 percent, the lowest of his presidency. And now, your first look at weather on this Wednesday, August 24, 2011. The forecast is calling for a mixture of sunny skies with the possibility of isolated showers for us. Our noonday temperature will reach a high of 94 with isolated showers. Your forecast for Jackson and the rest of central Mississippi calls for a high of 98 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. The next day, we will see a high of 101 degrees and a low of a comfortable 75. Now today at 5 we will have more details in weather. I am student news anchor Courtney Christopher Page and this has been News Now Update at Noon on the award winning Cool and Current WJSU. Recognized by the Associated Press as one of the top newscasts in Mississippi. Now coming up later today it's the News Now Update at 5 p.m. with Stone Abdullah and the news team. Have a terrific Wednesday. I'll see you back here on Thursday. This is Cool and Current WJSU FM 88.5. We are Jackson State University challenging minds and changing lives.